January 12, 2010, the world turns its eyes to a devastated island off the coast of Florida. A 7.0 magnitude earthquake struck the already struggling country and put them even further behind. Comprehending the enormity of the situation was impossible. The TV screen flashed image after image of buildings that had been turned into concrete graves. It showed streets that had been draped like operating rooms. It showed orphans, widows, families, and friends down on their knees screaming for their loved ones who were lost amongst the rubble. It is possible that you may not know anyone from Haiti. You may not even know where Haiti is on a map. But I am sure that when your phone rings at 3 a.m. and a friend or a family member is hurt, you know exactly what to do. You get up. You find help. You do everything in your power to ease their pain. And I have this urge, this tug in my heart, telling me that this is one of those times. The question is not whether I help, but how. My main mission is I'm more of a community development, human rights type of person, so um, working with an orphanage, uh, we could easily branch out with that, meet the needs of not only the children, but the community around. So uh, my goal, I guess, would be to not only raise up the children, give them the love that they need, but to help a community as a whole. I started off by going to Ghana, Africa. Um, I volunteered there in an orphanage and I taught English and did some medical outreach. And when I had already booked my trip to Ghana, I saw on the news about Haiti and the earthquake and how they were affected. So when I was in Ghana, I realized that I love volunteering and it was my passion. So then when I got home, I decided that I needed to continue volunteering. So I booked a trip to Haiti and didn't have any plans and just wound up at an orphanage that never had volunteers before. And then I just branched out and went to hospitals, medical clinics, uh, about six different orphanages I worked at. And I fell in love with the country and the people. And uh, I think they're in a lot of need right now, so. Currently there are nine children and two are in Port-au-Prince at the hospital. Two are actually sick. And then six were sent away to another orphanage because the, the funds weren't there to take care of them. For me, it would be inhumane not to try and help, and not to make an effort to change things. Forget about the bull and the politics. Forget about the border lines or the separation of countries. Forget about the color of the people's skin or living by society's standards. And focus on the people, focus on the needs at hand, and focus on working together as one to relieve the suffering.